Then. Okay, so I want to start a series on the gi and how to grip the gi because this is something that we run into a lot and um, it's a mistake that I see constantly and almost nobody actually tells us how to grip the gi. So I want to first have your mindset thinking about a rope. Um, in the strongman competitions, they have ropes where they could pull planes and buses and uh, things of that nature. So there's actually many ropes within the gi, but we, we need to know how to be able to use them. So I'll take my belt off here. And if we just look at Predator's collar, it's essentially a belt that's woven into some sleeves. And there's a lot that we could do with this rope that's around the neck. Um, and if we think about it like it's a rope around the neck, then we have greater ability to manipulate that rope on the ground. So if Predator's laying down, and I'm here looking to strangle Predator, I'm going to adjust this rope around his neck here. I'm gonna feed the lapel to myself. I'm gonna put my thumb inside and I'm going to go through and do a cross choke with the rope of the lapel, okay? Another rope that we have that we could manipulate is if we stand back up, Predator. On every single gi, regardless of manufacturer, there's a seam right here on the back of the gi. Okay, if you see, there's a seam that runs down every gi, and there's this rope here along the sleeve that we can pull and manipulate, and if he tries to reach for my lapel or something, I could always divert it and move it away from me. Okay, another huge rope that we have with the gi is the belt, okay? The belt is located right above his center of gravity, and there's many different ways that I could use the belt to my advantage in taking him off balance and manipulating that center of gravity. And the last and final rope that is on the gi is the sleeve, okay? It's the smallest rope, but it's a rope nonetheless and we have a really great ability to control and move someone around with these ropes, okay? The other example of that rope is also the rope around the pants as there's an opening in the gi for every foot right here, okay? So the four ropes that we can pull and push and manipulate are the collar, the belt, the arm, and the sleeves, okay? But we could also make a grip anywhere we want on the gi, but it has to be done in a particular way, okay? So all the time, if you lay down, uh, Predator, all the time, I see if your legs are up, people are trying to make fine lapel grips here and grab onto whatever they need to grab onto here, okay? And if you're spending the time to, um, put some resistance here, Predator, if you're spending the time to kind of grab the gi in this way, he's just going to be able to um, take your hands off easily. It's gonna to take too much time for you to actually get the grip. So the way that we need to do this is we need to punch our hand into the gi which makes this um, kind of latch for us to be able to hold on to, and then we can manipulate the gi. If Predator stands up and stand facing the wall, other way here, completely this way, if I make a, uh, a grip on Predator's back, I'm going to slap the gi, and then that's going to enable me to be able to grip and move him wherever I want. I can't just go directly with the fingers and start making the grip. I either need to slap so that I can make the grip, 
or I need to puncture with my fingers and then make a grip like this. So that's how you grip the gi. And if I could give you one piece of advice in not hurting your fingers when we're doing this, is whenever I make a grip, I'm always nice and loose with the grip that I've made. And it's only when Predator starts to pull his hand back that my grip tightens, okay? So if we're here, I keep the grip nice and loose, and then he pulls it back, and then my grip tightens. So if you've ever been in a competition before, you've probably felt that feeling where your forearms are so sore and they're so filled with lactic acid, and it's because we didn't follow this idea. We stayed gripping the whole time really hard on the uniform, and it's gonna hurt your fingers, and it's going to exhaust your grip uh, way earlier. So having that sensitivity to gripping only as hard as you need to grip and then providing tension when they pull away is essential in being able to grip the gi. Thank you guys so much.